Folks, I'm dead serious. We have an incredible car here. 1970 Chevelle, arguably the most desirable muscle car of all the muscle cars. You are looking at an unrestored time capsule. This is a 48,000 mile car with complete history. This is original paint we're looking at, original vinyl top, original interior, all number match, 396, four speed, cow induction. This is a really significant investment type car. You go to volocars.com and that's where you can look at all the pictures, all the uh, price tags on all the cars for sale along with the monthly finance payment as well. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Before we do that, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. I've got a binder full of information. Uh, we have the original Protecto plate. This has all the engine, transmission, rear end codes, the original buyer. Uh, it was sold new at Ed Kelly Chevrolet. We have the original build sheet that goes down the assembly line with the car so they know how to build it. It has all the options, verifying everything. Ed Kelly Chevrolet. We got the original owner's manual, which I thought was kind of nifty uh, inside of it. This is the manual for this car. They uh, stapled a piece of paper in here about things not covered by warranty. It says Ed Kelly Chevrolet. Uh, plus there's more, there's sales brochure. And what's also really cool is here's the story that ties it all together. First of all, I'm a skeptic. People tell me I got a Hemi Cuda in the barn wheel with 10 miles on it. I'm like, yeah, right. Guy says he has a 70 Chevelle unrestored original survivor. I say, yeah, right. No, this is the real deal. And here's the story. This was uh, put uh, in a Chevelle magazine back in 2004. Gentleman that bought it new came back from his tour of duty in the army in 1970 bought himself a red 70 Chevelle, which he went and beat the heck out of. His neighbor said, boy, it's a cool looking car. His neighbor went out and bought this 70 Chevelle. Well, many years later, the neighbor passed away and he knew the first gentleman sold his red one a long time ago and wanted to replace it. So he's been bugging this guy. Hey, if you ever sell this car, let me know. So in 2003, he gets a phone call and it was the wife of the owner of this car saying that he passed away. So I hope you're following me. So the original owner of the red car bought this, now to remember his neighbor, and he wanted a 70 Chevelle. This car was pampered. It was in the garage with sheets over it. Uh, they talk about in the article here about how this owner took care of the car where the other guy beat the hell out of the red car back in the day. Uh, this was an older gentleman who babied this car and did not modify it, um, never in an accident, all original metal, all original paint, all original drivetrain. Uh, we have a title that says actual miles. So it's a three owner car that we know of all together. Um, so let's start checking out the body. Again, original paint, so all original metal. This is straight, no issues. You kind of are looking for it. I don't even see it now, but I've seen it from the other angle. There was a mild little little ding, little dent. I swear I can't even find it now. But this is all original, no rust. Door still opens and closes like new. All clean, no rust at all. Factory cow induction hood with the uh, flapper door, all clean. This lines up beautifully. It's rare to find 70 to 72 Chevelle where both sides line up exactly the way they should. Always one side is just not right. But this is original, never been hit. No reproduction parts on the body. All clean, original, rust-free, damage-free metal. Shuts like a new car. So the body's outstanding. This is the original color, because again, original paint, and, and that's what everyone's claiming, and I looked it over and I believe it. I didn't find overspray or tape lines, or I didn't find anything to disprove the original paint. With that said, 
probably one of the best original paints I've seen from 1970, but it's going to have patina. If it didn't have patina, then I would be questioning it. So it's a little bit foggy. The black is buffed thin a little bit, especially right on the crease here, and it's, it's a little thin, the black stripes. There's a few little scratches and chips, but you know, a little touch up here and there, little imperfections, but boy, is it nice. Down at the bottom, you know, little chips on the corner of the door, on the rocker, that's where I'm getting in and out, or the seat belt hitting. So you'll find minor imperfections like that, but again, it shows really well. Here's two little chips touched up right here. Stripes on the hood uh, held up better. They're not really rubbed thin or anything like that, but a little chip here, some little chips there. So a good looking original paint job. Uh, bumper still shiny, the emblem uh, has all four T3 headlamps. Everything up there looks really good, fits really nice. Yeah, the, the bumper lines right up with the body. All the moldings, emblems, it's all original stuff. Uh, there is a good chip in the paint right here. It's smaller than my pinky nail, but there's a touch up right there. It's probably the ugliest spot of the paint. All the glass is still really nice and clear. All the original stainless, never been off the car because this is still the original vinyl top. It's actually in very good shape. No rust underneath it, no, you know, no bumps from rust. Um, and back, this all looks great. The bumper, the pad, emblem, it's all real nice. Rear windows like crystal clear. The trim is not beat up at all. The SS wheels are original. They've never been spray canned or masked off or redone. They're original and I would say very good shape. Uh, they are reproduction Goodyear polyglass tires. Those have been replaced at some point. The rubber on the car is original and it's still soft. Uh, you know, it has a crack in it here and there, but overall in good shape. Same with the window seals, uh, still very good original condition. Why don't we open it up, give you a tour of the inside. All right, I'm going to show you a real-time capsule. This is all original paint, original sticker. A paper sticker is as old as I am, 1970. The jam is original. See this little mark right here? That's factory. That's how they knew where to start the weather strip, and then they'd work their way down and around. But that, that rubber's original. Here's the original spot wells, the original part number uh, inside the trunk. This is not spray can. This is the original spatter finish, which you rarely see. All the trunks I show you, they've been resprayed. Rarely do you see original spatter, and never do you find it in this good a condition. An SS wheel. Uh, this must be a reproduction tire because it still has the nubs on the tread. I doubt it's the actual original, it might be. Uh, but SS wheel, matching tire, and a complete jack assembly. Original mat, comes with a car cover. The third owner who I bought it from, he had to do some maintenance to it. These are the original spark plug wires from 1970. It's dated right on there. You put an HEI ignition and a different uh, carburetor. So here's a restored correct carburetor. Here's the original distributor and coil that came off the car. And of course there's a car cover sitting there too. You run across grandma's Ford LTD or Buick Electra with low miles and taken care of. You don't find a 70 Chevelle big block four speed that's been pampered all of its life. This is a rare special find. So original door jams, there's an oil change sticker on your door there, somewhere back around 21,000 miles, I think it said. Uh, this car was z barded at the time, so there's some yellow plugs in the jam where they squirt the uh, undercoating into. Weather strips are in real nice shape. All original interior, door panels are real clean and straight, including the armrests. The dash area is real nice, clean, straight. This is original. This is not new or replaced. It's all original. It's the 
factory gauges, 48,800 miles. Clock is only right twice a day, and hey, it's on quitting time. I like that. Heater control panel, factory radio, cigarette lighter. It's all original stuff. The ash pad is original. Clean glove box. Kick panel's real nice. Maybe I was confusing the way I was explaining the story. I'll post this on our website so you'll be able to read uh, the story. Original carpets. The center console is just like mint. Correct Muncie shifter with the chrome ball. Original seat belts in real nice shape. You might have seen that the seat does have a split right here. You can leave it. It's part of the car's story. Or you can have this panel replaced. And then there's a little cracking right here. Personally, I would leave it. It lets people know, yeah, it's original. But otherwise, this is a really great shape. This plastic trim is the original. It has a little bit of a yellow tint. The new stuff comes on a roll. It doesn't even look like that. All this is clean, not beat up. Back seat, seat belts, armrests, side panels, all that is original and excellent shape. The headliner is still real nice and tight. I don't see any tears, no mouse holes. Dome light works. Visors are in excellent shape. The mirror is excellent. The original SS steering wheel is in very nice shape. See, I'm really uh, very impressed with this uh, original interior looking as good as it does. Not only looking good, but original fits better. So this is a 1970, so it's a 396, 350 horsepower. This is the original motor it was born with, all numbers, codes, you know, VIN number match correct. At some point, somebody did paint the orange uh, on the engine again. They did a very neat job. You don't see overspray all over, but somebody did tidy that up. Here's this little part here. I think it has something to do with the choke or carburetor. That's still there. Usually that's missing. The original valve covers with the dimples in the in the chrome that's from the spot welds those are the originals i told you a distributor and wires were changed but we have the originals uh, third owner had the exhaust manifolds uh, recoded and then look how clean the firewall is all original metal original gray hinges they've never been spray painted over it has ribbed hoses battery was changed so this is a delco battery topper with spring clamp cables and a disconnect switch. Here's the shroud, the right hoses and clamps. Somebody did spray can up here. You know, it's all clean original metal, but somebody somebody did come in, did a little bit of a sloppy job with the spray can. The original squirter bottles hooked up. Uh, it's manual steering, but it is power brakes. And the complete how induction system, there's actually a flapper door inside as well as the one outside, and that forces the air into here. Even the sticker on top's never been changed. All this is clean. See the gold overspray? That's how factory did it. It's all original stuff. So Caleb's going to take you for a drive. You should drive like a new car. How cool is this? The 1970s Cheval SS Survivor, guys. This is incredible to me. Uh, will we find one in this nice of shape again? It's possible, but highly unlikely, is my opinion. Uh, you know, it, it is mostly original. Some of the suspension components have been updated just so that you can drive this car because it's a piece of history that deserves to be driven. Kudos to the guy that kept it or the two owners that kept this thing in the condition that it's in today because I'm I'm blown away feels really good smooth 
Uh, I know the shocks were replaced. The springs are still original. Some of the sway bar end links were replaced. The brakes as well. They were gone through, rebuilt. Uh, so those feel really good. They're not dragging. It's not pulling left or right. It is manual steer. The steering box feels nice and tight on it. And everything works. Now I take that statement back. The light's not working, but I can hear the turn signal. But at least you know that it's on on the outside with the indicator noise. Just gotta wait for the traffic to clear and then we'll uh, get her up to speed, see how she does. Original radio. If you were part of his congregation, and it works. Him. I believe it's just an AM. The lights are working. We'll try the horn here in a second. I got the heat on, it's pretty cold today. Heat works wonderful. All right, let's see what she's got. Cowl induction's going up. Oh, she's a ripper. <laughs> Damn, I was not expecting that. This thing just powers through the gears. Shifter feels amazing. The clutch is new in here, so that feels really solid. Look at this. Drive straight as an arrow. Maybe if I point us straight first. I'm impressed. This is a very nice handling car for being mostly original. The cowl induction was flapping up. You could really feel it kick in. Especially in second to third right there. The power band was surprising. Yeah, this is a solid, solid car. All the gauges are working, aside from the clock, but everything else is functional in here. Horn works. Yeah, she's beautiful. You guys are in for a real treat. Whoever picks this up, it doesn't get much better than this, the condition for originality. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm blown away. So there you have it, guys, the 70 Chevelle. Right, so underneath the car is just really well preserved, no rust, all original metal, it's not rotten at all. The floors are clean, original. Uh, the third owner did replace the, they had the original spiral shocks, and I think he replaced the springs too. We might have those in the shop, I'm not sure, I'll double check. Uh, but this comes with the F41 suspension, it's front and rear sway bars, box rear control arms, all of that is there, it's all stock. All the front end components look real good. Uh, our shop did service and inspect the car. Um, he also put a new clutch in there and it was all done by a professional. And he put a Gardner exhaust. It's the exact reproduction exhaust system, the correct mufflers. It even has the correct resonators in the back with the SS oval tips. Uh, so underneath the car, again, very clean, very well preserved. A couple maintenance items that were pretty necessary. Uh, the car actually runs and drives very well. Uh, disc brakes in front, e-brake is all hooked up. You look up at the motor, they painted the entire motor Chevy orange. They didn't just do it on top, and someone, again, did a great job. Starter's clean, VIN number matching, uh, Muncie four-speed transmission. And it has its original, born with this car, 12 volt rear end with, I think, 331 uh, gears in it. This is an opportunity. There won't be another one like this, maybe ever to come through Volo. It's that rare, that desirable, too. Go to volocars.com. Salesman can help answer the rest of your questions, like how to get it delivered, how to get it financed. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you're notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.